Hi, this is David with ORS Racks Direct, and I'm here today to uh, show you some of the really cool features and a little uh, basic installation about the Yakima Viper fork mount bike rack. Uh, the Yakima Viper fork mount bike rack is Yakima's high-end uh, fork mount bike rack. It's a classic fork mount uh, installed bike rack. Um, it's not their hot, most premium uh, model. The most premium model is the Sprocket Rocket, which has a few upgraded features from this. You may want to check out that video as well. But this is a classic uh, uh, Yakima product that has been around for several years because it works so well. And uh, so, first things first, uh, this fork mount bike rack out of the box will attach to uh, Yakima round bars or Thule square bars. And uh, so, um, basically, you're going to need a, a Yakima base rack system, such as this Q tower system, or a low rider system, or control tower system, or what have you. Uh, in order to get the, the, the round bars in which to attach this. If you're looking to attach a, if you're looking to carry your bicycle on, on a factory, factory rack crossbars, you're going to want to look at Yakima's upright mount bike racks, which is the type that you do not have to take the, wheels, the front wheel off of. But fork mount bike racks in general offer a lot of uh, features that maybe are a little bit better option for you than maybe in, in an upright mount bike rack. Uh, they tend to sit um, lower um, on, 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 the, on the rack itself, uh, a little more sturdy, much more aerodynamic, and uh, I haven't actually verified this, but I do think that that does uh, actually uh, increase fuel efficiency, which at $4 a gallon, I think, uh, is something worth considering. Um, it's, it's easier to get to this, 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 this attaching uh, mechanism as well. So, so let's begin with attaching this. Enough of the other talk here. So first of all, so I have this not installed because I want to show you how nice the Viper really does, quickly it does attach. So it just goes right on the bar. This, uh, the, the head here just closes up. This red tab here, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a hook under here and this tab snaps in and then you just push that red, red tab down and it's, it's locked in. That's it. That's all there was to it. Next is you take this very cool high-end premium uh, uh, skewer, which I'll show you works how, how it works. Is this is one of the real upgrades from some of the low, lower end uh, Yakima fork mount um, uh, products like the steelhead and the copperhead, which come with um, not quite as easy to use uh, skewers, which you'll find using in a fork rack, fork mount rack uh, style. Uh, the the skewer is really one of the features that makes uh, that separates the great fork mount racks from uh, just a regular fork rack. So. First of all, I slid this. I slid the axle through there, and then it, there's a brass. There's just there's a brass dial right here, and all this is what's so neat about it. So you just turn this brass not dial uh, initially to just get it to get it dialed in. Uh, it's it's very easy to do. You don't have to worry about hold, holding the knob on the other side when you're using a skewer. Okay, so once you have the brass dial uh, uh, screw dialed in most of the way to where you know leave leave a little play so that you can you're going to be able to uh, place your, your your fork in here your bike fork in here. Uh, I'm now going to put the bike up here. You then you can finish finish it off. A really nice feature of this really nice feature of this uh, this skewer is because um, a lot of bikes nowadays come with these what they call lawyer tabs, the safety tabs there. Uh, can be a real problem with just a regular uh, a regular skewer because you have to adjust it every time. With the Viper skewer, it, it's very nice because once you have the bike up here, all you have to do is just dial this brass knob, brass dial in, just to where to where you want there to be just the right tension. Tighten it up. That's it. It's not going anywhere. It's in there. The nice thing is now now it's. It's set for, for good. You can take this bike, you take this bike right out, put it right back in. You don't have to worry about messing with the dial. You got it locked in there every single time. Very quick install and unload the bike every time. So let's now move to the back of the of, of the uh, bike tray here of the Viper. And again, this installs to round bars or square bars using Yakima's snap around technology. Very cool snap arounds right on the rear. Lastly, all you're going to do is take the very nice premium ratcheting strap, put that on there, give it a couple clicks, bam, it's on there. This bike not going anywhere, and that's basically all there is to it with the Viper. Uh, very neat. You know, for if you want to maximize crossbar space, if you want to carry, say, four bikes, 
you're gonna want to you're gonna want to alternate uh, placing uh, the first the first carrier forward, the next one backward, and whatnot. That way, the the handlebars don't are not gonna hit each other, and you can get many more bikes on there. Some of the features uh, or accessories uh, that that can go along with the Viper are first off uh, is is the the Yakima. Uh, 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 wheel fork carrier, you're going to want to consider this to carry your, your wheel instead of in the car getting grease on your upholstery and whatnot. Very cool. Uh, the wheel fork is a very cool uh, uh, front wheel holder because it does offer uh, this, this anti-spin mechanism right here. Most of the time, I don't know, you've seen going down the highway, you see somebody else's wheels spinning around and it can, uh, yeah, it's just it not, 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 not very, very uh, clean looking. This has this, this mechanism here, wheel's not going anywhere. It's not going to spin as you go down the highway. And it's got the, uh, it's got the uh, snap around technology as well, uh, so it'll work on round bars and square bars. So that's a nice accessory located at the bottom of the Viper product page. A couple other accessories as well. Um, if you have a, uh, first of all, this will work with uh, any road bike or mountain bike that you have. Uh, fits uh, very skinny road tires to very fat, you know, uh, two inch, three inch uh, tires. Go with that. Also has a very nice head on here, uh, so that you have room to fit uh, any any disc wheel, disc, uh, you know, our, our uh, disc disc brakes on there. Fits in there very well um, as well. The other, the other uh, some of the other features, the other accessories for this though are a couple of uh, fork adapters. If you have a, th a through axle or something like that, Yakima does make um, uh, a few different uh, fork adapters which would go right in here and then and then you place your through axle through here and that would go on there. Uh, the, other, the other one is uh, the uh, Lefty, uh, Cannondale's Lefty. You could use that with this as well. These again located at the bottom of the product page. Finally, this rack is lockable. Uh, so uh, you can place a Yakima SKS lock core right in this, uh, in, the, in the handle of the skewer use a key to lock that, nobody's going to be able to take your, your bike off of there. So we recommend uh, a pack of locks. Uh, for, for this setup here, we have two two bike racks and we have uh, the Q-Tower system. You'd want a six pack of locks to lock all the towers and both bicycles in the bike racks. So uh, that's really all there is to it. A very, very nice uh, classic uh, looking fork mount carrier and it's got a lot of high-end features. The Yakima Viper. Again, this is David with ORS Racks Direct. Thanks a lot.